Anish, thank you very much for keeping us apprised of what is going on in these Super Regionals and what is going on here in Tuscaloosa. A small patch of Rainbow Wahine fan that have traveled all the way from the islands or nearby states. We met some Hawaii fans from Georgia yesterday. This is it. This is the last chance for Hawaii, and it's the best chance as we are at the top of the order. Kelly Majum, Jessica Iwata, Melissa Gonzalez, and between them, unbelievable amount of home runs for this team. In the Super Regionals, Majum three for six, and she steps in. Kelly Majum pacing the nation with 30 home runs on the season. 73 of Hawaii's 153 home runs from the top three in the order. Kelsey Dunn here behind 2-0. We always talk about how important it is to pitch from ahead. I think the biggest out of the inning is this one right here. She needs to go right after Kelly Majum. Don't want to put anyone on base with the power that Hawaii has. Done shaking off Dawson's suggestion. And that gets the outside corner. Kulin's wives sent over some tea leaves for the fans. They're shaking them in the stands. The first three hitters in this game, two for seven with two runs scored. One of those hits belongs to Majin, a single in the first. And that rise ball, to me, that's the most effective pitch that Kelsey Dunn throws. It's not the rise ball in the inside corner or the outside corner. It's the one that's sweet on the plate, but it's at the eyes of these Hawaii hitters. And when she puts it on the white part of the plate, even though it's at their eyes, she gets them to swing through it. The appeal down the line to Ed Rado. He said Majum did not go. The count is full to Major. That's a big pitch, three and two. Kelsey Dunn comes back with a changeup that floats a little bit high. Take a look at this pitch. She's going to snap this ball out. It's a changeup. It's a little bit high and inside. Runner on for Jessica Iwata. She had the grand slam in game two and could end this one with one swing. Let's show you what the 5-4 shortstop did in game two yesterday. And she takes a low inside pitch and just drives that over the fence. A lot of these Hawaii players, they're small, but they're powerful. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> But Iwata now down 0-2 in the count. And I think if you're Kelsey Dunn, you need to continue to throw that rise ball up in the zone, get Hawaii to swing through that pitch, waste away, use the off speed, but continue to come up at their eyes. Iwata flares that one over the Alabama dugout. Not Alabama's usual dugout. They're typically the home team down the third base line, but a coin flip puts Alabama in the unsavory position of needing three more outs to advance to Oklahoma City. of Kelsey Dunn's 14 strikeouts belong to Jessica Iwata. And this rise ball just continuing to move up in the eyes of the Hawaii hitters. It's over the plate, it looks sweet, and they continue to attack it. The first pitch to Melissa Gonzalez is a ball. 15 strikeouts today, bad math by me. Four of Kelsey's 15 strikeouts belong to Jessica Iwata. 
one and one the count to Gonzalez, who struck out in the third inning looking, but she did single on the first pitch of her at bat in the fifth. Kelly Majum on first, walked to lead off the inning. Melissa Gonzalez, second on the team in home runs this year. One and two now to Gonzalez. Rings her up. 16th strikeout of the game for Kelsey Dunn. And what's been impressive about Kelsey Dunn is she's used a rise, she's used her changeup, but this is a screwball that cuts back inside toward Gonzalez, and the dugout loves it. The first pitch to Jenna Rodriguez pulled down the left field line. If it's fair, it's over. The game ends on a walk-off home run for Jenna Rodriguez. Rodriguez, the three-run shot in the first inning, and now the walk-off two-run home run to send Hawaii to the Women's College World Series. What a shocking turn of events in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, as the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine advanced to Oklahoma City to make their first ever Women's College World Series appearance. The Crimson Tide faithful are stunned. The Rainbow Wahine faithful are thrilled, Michelle. And you can see this pitch. You can see the unique hitting style of Rodriguez, hands away, and look at her. She's watching to make sure it goes over fair. Look at the way her hands are away from her body. She takes those hands from outside in, and she's gonna watch. And you can see the elation in the Hawaii dugout. That ball just inside the foul pole. Jenna Rodriguez hits her 16th and 17th home runs of the season off of Kelsey Dunn. What an outstanding effort for Alabama starter. 16 strikeouts for Dunn, but in the losing effort because it's the Rainbow Wahine, the number 16 seed in the nation, advancing to the Women's College World Series on the walk-off two-run shot as Hawaii builds its NCAA record to 100 and 54 home runs on the season. Jenna Rodriguez, our Capital One player of the game, three for four, a pair of home runs, and five RBI, all five RBI. She bookends it with the first and the seventh. Head coach Bob Coolen joins us. Coach, take us inside that dugout behind you right uh, now. It's a, 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 simply amazing. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Coach Coolen, congratulations. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Jenna Rodriguez hitting out of that four spot, two home runs today. Yeah, we uh, moved her up earlier in the year because she was the most consistent hitter we had. And she has no emotion in the box whatsoever, and it showed today. Coach, what is it about this Hawaii team that made it the first ever to advance into the Women's College World Series? Chemistry. All the way. Chemistry. And tell us a little bit about your pitchers. Both of them battled today, giving up just the four runs. Barnaby, Ricketts, tell us a little bit about them. Kaya did a great job uh, coming out and holding them down. Ricketts was ready. We just didn't want to use her to start because she's been a little under the weather. Kaya's been rearing to go, and it worked out real well, real well for us because Steph came in, shut him down, and, and all we needed was one runner on. We had the top of the lineup, and we knew we could do it. Road weary yet, Coach? This trip is extending more than 8,000 miles now. Not, not at all, not at all. The Rainbow Wahine have been on the road since May 10th, and Bob Colin tells us it's the best day of his life. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha to you. Uh-oh, here it comes. 
well-deserved water bath and the vitamin water bath. A double dip for Bob Coolin as Hawaii advances 5-4 victors against top seed Alabama. For my analyst partner, Michelle Smith, and our great crew, I'm Kara Capuano. Let's send it to Anish in the studio.